welcome back, back to, to On the Road with LJ. We are in Bangkok, Thailand right now. You can see the scenery behind me. It looks so amazing. Like, and we're going to be showing you what we're going to do here and the experiences that we're going to have in Thailand. Make sure to click that subscribe button before we start this video. If you're excited, then please also like the video. Yeah. flying from Cape Town, which is where we are now, to Bangkok, Thailand. Today is New Year's Eve. It's gonna be a really long flight. We're gonna be taking Qatar Airways because we're gonna be stopping in Qatar for a two hour layover. Yeah. We're on our next flight. We're finally going to Asia. Asia. Yeah, I'm really excited about going to Thailand. Are you? I mean, it just still seems like a fantasy True. in my mind. So right when we get there, I'm probably gonna be thinking like, am I in Thailand? Is this real? I'm like, what is it gonna be like? What's the food gonna be like? We've arrived in Bangkok. Now that it is the evening, we're going to go get some street food for dinner. Hello, welcome. We're at this restaurant called Cheap and Better, a street food place. Just got vegetable spring rolls. They taste really good, but we're used to. This is chicken. pork with sauce, and this is oh supposed like, to be pork and chicken noodles. noodles. Yeah. Dumpling soup. Oh, yeah. yeah. We also got soup. Yeah. It's like a tom cut. walkway right now that is built over the streets that you don't have to walk where all the cars are down below. Today we got up early. We saw the sunrise almost. We are going to be looking at some temples. These are going to be the first temples we're going to see, so I just really don't know what to say about them. These are actually going to be our first temples. We saw some yesterday while we were walking around, but we didn't go into them. Right up on the right here, we're going to see our first temple, I believe. We're at the metro station. I don't think we've seen one of these since, like, Athens, actually. There's these doors here. We saw some of them in London, but they're mostly new to us. In London, they're always saying, please mind the gap. They don't don't fall into the gap between the train and the, the walk. Um, but we don't need that reminder anymore. Cause... We have arrived at the temples of Wat Pho, and uh, we're the first ones here. And I thought that this was funny because our dad always makes us be early to everything. For example, in Zanzibar, we were at the airport before it even opened. Once again, for the third time, and probably not the last time, my dad made us go to the airport early. Number one in line, there's no line. It's really cool to be first. And the first thing I'm noticing is how peaceful it is this early in the morning. This time, my dad was right about being the first people here. So we basically just arrived at the temples. We didn't really see the actual temple yet. Here there's this little there's this little water fountain behind me. I don't think they turned it on yet. Um, actually I think it's ancient, so I don't think it's possible to turn it on. Let's go. As Jack stated, we are now at Wat Po, a complex of six Buddhist temples. There are thousands of Buddhist temples in Thailand because the main religion is Buddhism. Around 95% of the people are Buddhists.
The word Buddha means enlightened one. Becoming enlightened means to overcome suffrage and awaken to peace of mind. This is what Buddhism is all about and this can take a whole lifetime to accomplish. The first recorded Buddha lived around 500 BC and was born Prince of India. He realized that people in the world were suffering and gave up his position to help them and to unlock the answers of life. At temples in Thailand, you will usually see many monks practicing Buddhism. We are now looking at the reclining Buddha. It was built in around the 1830s and is made out of copper and gold, displaying its true grandness. What really makes this reclining Buddha a sight to see though, is how large it is. Its height is 15 meters tall and it is 46 meters or over 150 feet long. The reclining Buddha is representing Buddha during the time of his final illness before he entered Peri Nirvana, Nirvana after death. This is the reclining Buddha and oh my god it's so huge. So we basically finished um, looking at the temple. We might go back and maybe publish some of our blog posts. By the way, our blog is called worldschool.travel.blog, so please check that out um, because it's, it's really awesome. We have like a lot of information on that. It's like the equivalent of this, but instead of videos, it's writing. And now we're gonna go get some lunch. We got Patsa Yu, also Patsa Yu, spring rolls and dumplings and soup. Absolutely. Tom Yum? Tom That's what I've eaten since I've been in Thailand. This is like my 10th pearl of Tom Yum. Here are some uh, Thai instruments. Yeah. Um, Thai instruments. Yeah. We have some food, pate again, soup. Oh, very spicy, it's so good. I, I got the best thing. I already finished it. That's uh -huh. what I back in as a wear up. I got the best thing, so, and, and I'm already done. It was yeah. so delicious. I Yours will be coming that. soon. Yours will be coming soon. <laughs> yeah. Today, we are going to Chinatown. We have arrived in Chinatown, Bangkok. So we're walking through this inside market. I've seen inside markets before, but this is one of the biggest I've seen. I spotted a box that says Washington State Apples.
Today we're going on a tour and we're going to be visiting three destinations around Bangkok. This uh, uh, flat or apartment uh, belongs to the government but it's too old. It's about more than 50 years. We are now visiting the Summer Palace for ruling kings of Thailand. The king of Thailand right now is King Rama X, the son of Thailand's previous king, King Rama IX, who was loved by the Thai people. Uh, the pavilion, yeah, the Thai pavilion over there. We have to take our shoes off for this tower. We're going to look at the whole summer palace from above. The original palace was built in the early 1600s, but the present buildings in the summer palace were mostly built during 1872 to the late 1880s. We're at the top of the view tower and we're looking at the grounds of the palace. Actually down there in that building is a Chinese style building. It's the only Chinese style building in the whole grounds of the palace. It's in red and gold, which are very important colors for the Chinese. This is the military coming into the summer palace. There were also many hedges shaped like different animals, and it was really fun to pose for pictures under the elephants. We're stopping at the floating market to get some lunch before heading to our next destination. We're off the boat, and now we're entering the floating market. Thailand has had a lot of capitals, Bangkok has been the capital since 1782, and Ayutthaya was the capital of Thailand from 1350 to 1767. The Thai and Burma had many wars with each other, but one we learned about has been called the White Elephant War. White elephants were actually just very strong elephants that were important in battle. And the two countries fought over who would get the most white elephants, or Siamese elephants as they called them, because Thailand was called Siam at the time. This is what's left after the Burmese burned Wat Mahathat during a massive invasion in 1767, which was the last year of Ayutthaya being the capital of Thailand. This temple was built in 1374 and is known as Temple of the Great Relic. This is known to be the Bodhi tree where Buddha, after meditating under it for many days, became enlightened. We're at Wat Maha Thot Temple. It's really cool here. We just took a picture near the Buddha head and you have to crouch down because you need to be below the Buddha's head at all times. We are right now at some place. I have my um, cheetah experience hat on. Remember that if you saw the South Africa video? We're going on the metro soon and we're gonna go see the new Star Wars movie. Yeah. The Rise of Skywalker. I just yeah. still can't believe it's 2020 even though it is. And this is a shirt, elephant shirt, and I got here in Bangkok. Jack is playing a video game for the mall we're at right now.
We have arrived at the Grand Palace of Bangkok that is the King of Thailand's residence. The complex was built in 1782 by King Ram I. Today is our last day in Bangkok and we're going to be exploring these beautiful buildings. However, first yeah. we have to get in. <laughs> Hey guys, um, I'm in the Grand Palace in Bangkok. It's pretty awesome, but there's like so many people here. These are two demon guardians located outside the chapel of the Emerald Buddha. They are located there to protect the Emerald Buddha from bad spirits and were built when King Ram III was king. This is the Golden Stupa built in 1855. From first glimpse, this looks incredible. So we're still in the Grand Palace and behind me is a Bodhi tree. Right over there. Thanks for watching this video and you can like the video if you want. Built over the street where all the cars where all the cars are. On the street where all the cars are. Where all the cars are. And I don't know what else to say. If any of you guys shh, sorry. We think that wait, sorry, no. So where are we going? Wait Dad, are we going to Bangkok? So right now we're in the Grand Palace of Bangkok. And see you next time on On the Road with LJ. You won the lottery! <laughs> what? Seriously, man? I blame you. It's fake. Ha <laughs> ha.